Hello, how are you? Hello, sir. I'm good. How are you? Yes, sir. I can hear. Okay, that's very good. Thank you for talking to me. And uh, it's so so nice when when someone do this achievement, especially this. Time. Uh, Thank you so much, sir, for giving your time. Uh, I, I I know that uh, I never met you before, but you will be meeting me uh, probably tomorrow or day after tomorrow when you have a time uh, visit at Modbury Pharmacy and um, I can look at your CV. Maybe we can talk about uh, those things which probably you need to do further next steps for your... Uh, yes, sir. I sure I will. Your progress. That's very good. But the good thing is that you have done the cap. So amazing. Yes, sir. So how's your feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling quite great because uh, when I moved to Australia, actually I came here in this uh, February 2023 okay, okay. and yeah, and so many people I met and uh, some of them were saying it is a tough exam, it is not easy, you might have to give it for two to three times, but at the same time, I started watching your interview on uh, YouTube and uh, where uh, uh, people, uh, um, some of people uh, also cleared the CAPS exam yes. after their 20 year of age. Well, some of them of, after yeah, 10 years. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and think that, oh, if he can do it, I can do it as well. Yeah, that's the thought come in my mind. Like, if this can do it, I can do it also. Yeah, without doing, uh, like, without trying anything, I can't assume that I can do this. That's amazing. That's amazing to know. Because the reason behind of this all education or all motivation is that uh, when when we made such information clips, uh, like sharing a story, it actually inspires someone we don't know. So you got inspiration from that uh, fellow who did a 26-year-old gap. Yes, sir. Your video all videos are truly inspired me. Yes, he was here with me in this pharmacy where I'm talking to you, uh, probably somewhere in March, I think, and and uh, and I was not aware about the gap. I just talked to him casually. I was guiding him for his uh, uh, for his job visa. So no, no, sorry, job interview and fixing his CV and giving him yeah. tips that how. And then I asked, how long ago you had your pharmacy degree? And he said, twenty six years ago. Twenty six years ago. I said, really? And I oh, think, it's a long I, age. I, I need to stop everything at the moment. I need to stop everything. I just took out my all my cameras and, and everything and I said, This is your mic and this is me. I only have spent five minutes. You just need to tell why you did that after 26 years and how you did that. Just all that's all you need to do. And um, and he was a bit hesitant in the start, but he said he was very excited, very pumped up that, that I'm actually motivating him that you have done something huge, which I never witnessed. I have seen I have witnessed people with a gap of uh, 15 years. I think that's the maximum that I have seen at that time. But when yeah. 26, because when... I graduated 26 years back in 1997. So he graduated in 1997. So you can imagine that uh, the gap between. So anyone who oh, say oh. to you that, um, that you can't do it, no, it's just the mindset it's about your own thought process which actually yeah you. after watching your video i really inspired by your video and what you said i still remember you told me to do recalls on a last time and when i was in a real exam and uh, some of the questions was really uh came from recalls and uh, i was remembering your uh your word what you are saying yeah just uh, uh do uh, recalls in the last month and uh just clear your concept Oh, and can you please remind me, uh, was it a phone call between me and you? Was it for 10 minutes or was it five minutes? Was um, it, it was for around 15 minutes. So, 15 minutes. so that 15 yes. minute call make you realize that you can you can achieve yeah it. i can do it yeah okay, that's very good and you okay. also told me uh, uh what are the materials uh you also provided me materials from where i could start my preparation and how to do it now, thank you for listening and taking an action so when you when you listen and if you don't take an action like a massive action we call it uh, we don't progress, but you 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 gather the information for me, and you have taken the action. And how long ago? Can you remember what was the month when we talked? Um, it was in end of April. Oh my God! So April. So you spent May, June, July, and past yeah. So you, yeah. you you spent nearly two and a half months, I guess. Two and a half months. Yes. That's very good. 
Very good. And how many hours you spend on your study? In I was spending approximately eight hours. Yeah, it was on average. Okay, that's very good. And when you graduated, what was the year of your graduation? Um, I graduated in um, September 2022. Okay. I okay. did uh, Doctor of Pharmacy. Okay. Yeah. And, and how was was exam was too tough? Or was it exam was very easy? Can you explain the exam? Because you have heard from other people that one need to do this, do this exam two, three times. Mean that you have to fail this exam one time, you have to fail another time, and then you have to pass. So, but how you manage that in one time? No, uh, I feel this exam is easy if you have a basic concept yes. and uh, uh, if you uh, do your all hard work and. Uh, yeah, I feel it easy and uh, because uh, you gave me a like procedure, how to prepare, you gave me a timetable, uh, how to do it and uh, what are the correct source where uh, you could start your preparation and I have that uh, sources from you. So, so it was quite easy for me. My uh, You made my exam so easy. Oh and are you happy? How how happy? What is the level of your happiness from 1 to 10? Where I'm very happy? happy because I, to be honest, I never expected I'm going to crack this exam uh, in just two and a half month and in first okay. attempt, but I did it. So I'm, I'm really happy. That's very good. And what about your parents or your brother, sisters? Yeah, my know? parents, my husband and all are uh, very happy and uh, they also inspired me uh, they were um, I was thinking to give my exam in a November okay. but my parents yeah my parents made me ready to give exam in July <laughs> yeah they were saying me and I you know like you can do it you can do it and I give my exam in July okay that's very good yeah. and also uh, uh, what is uh, your plan now from here uh, now, first, I have to complete my PT. Okay. And yeah, then I um, I would like to do internship. Okay. And you know that yeah. uh, when we come from overseas, more jobs would be or more acceptability for the job is in regional sites, like regional, like not in big cities, but in, in smaller exactly. pharmacy, community pharmacies. That's something which... Uh, you need to keep in mind when you're approaching. Uh, that's something very important. Uh, that's what I always say to all overseas pharmacies that uh, go and fill up those regional positions first because there are more, uh, more more jobs in region first of all, and also uh, it's a good good acceptability and also a good salary as well. Okay, so so here in Adelaide, if I uh, supposed to. So you still apply. You, I'm not saying yeah. you need to apply, but you can be lucky if you can be picked up. But uh, just keep in mind that if you're not getting any offers in one month or two months, don't get disheartened and just open your horizon of job net, job search a little bit higher. Uh, and um, and also that's something which uh, uh, important you know, because I know a quite number of pharmacists uh, in bigger cities like in Melbourne or in Sydney. Uh, they keep trying within their city only and get frustrated. Even in Perth, when they pass the exam, they don't look at the window outside the box. They just keep looking nearby pharmacies or nearby close by uh, pharmacies where, where they can... So they can, uh, they can... I mean, you need to go out of your comfort zone to get this yes. because time is money, right? Your time is important. You can't... Go to the region, get quickly the job, and get started your career rather than waiting for the opportunity close by, right? So keep, yeah, that, that's keep, right. That, keep that in your target as well, right? Yeah, whoever thank you, sir. So. Whoever listening this, this is important for them as well rather than thinking that, oh, I have a relative. Do you have family relatives here in Adelaide? Do you have some friends? Or oh, family? yes, I have my family. I have my husband here, yeah. Other than husband, how yeah. many other sisters? We or... are here on no, a 491 visa, which is a okay. conditional okay. So visa. You can, you, can, you can work anywhere in the state, I guess. Yeah, yeah yes. Anything, any message for anyone who want to do the CAFs? Do you, do you, do you, want, men, do you yeah. want to make them easy from your message? Yeah, I would say it is uh, not a toughest exam as you think. It is easiest exam. You can do it. 
and just uh, listen your inner soul. Um, that's it. You all will clear it. That's very good. So inner soul mean that uh, if your mind is ready or your, I would say that uh, if you're ready, then, I mean, if you're ready to achieve something, you can, you can get it. That's it. So simple. Yeah, that's right. So, so. Uh, God has made your mind so intelligent that if you target or you focus something that you have done, it demonstrated that you want to pass the exam in July and you achieve yeah. it. So yes, it, sir. That's something which we, we actually teach in our webinars and our videos. And the main purpose videos. of this video is not to show off that, oh, I gave you the notes and you do the exam. Yeah. No, not, this is not the idea behind it, just to motivate the, from your story that anyone can correlate because there are so many stories that I have shared and um, I got phone calls and, oh, I see that Indian girl. Uh, if uh, if she can do it, can I do it? And, and that's yeah, the that's like... create that, that, that environment. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. I'll say hello to your husband and uh, we'll see you uh, maybe in one weekend, all right? Yeah, all right, so thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Enjoy your yeah. night. Yeah. Bye -bye. Same to yourself. Bye bye.